Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular problem, we're going to work on our translating skills. So just like uh, you translate from one language to another, like Spanish to English, we translate verbal phrases into variable and or algebraic phrases in mathematics, of course, especially in uh, math uh, subjects like algebra. So what we have here is a nice practice problem. Now translating uh, verbal expressions, verbal phrases into variable expressions can be confusing for a lot of students. And I suspect, I suspect that maybe half of you out there are going to get confused on this prom. Hopefully you can get this right, but let me go ahead and read the prom to you. It says six decreased by the difference of S and T is equivalent to what in terms of a variable expression? So if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. And then I'm going to walk through this prom step by step and show you why this can be quite confusing for some of you out there. Matter of fact, some of you are probably going to get pretty close to the right answer, but you're going to make a critical mistake that's going to cause your answer to be incorrect. So we'll talk about all that in just one second. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the answer here. Again, six decreased by the difference of S and T is equal to what in terms of a variable expression? Well, the answer is the following. So specifically, the answer is six minus parentheses S minus T. So this is the right answer. Now, if you got this answer, let me kind of erase this here for a second. If you wrote six minus S minus T, this is incorrect. Okay, so if you wrote this, unfortunately, I have to give you a nice little uh, um, kind of frown there, right? A sad face, but don't be too sad because you're pretty close. And unfortunately, this is not correct. And I'm gonna talk about why this, these two things are not equivalent. Okay, now hopefully you see exactly why they're not equivalent. Another a version of the correct answer would be six minus S plus T. Okay, so if you have this or this, uh, these two versions right here would be correct. And I have to give you a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that yes, indeed, you know how to translate verbal phrases into variable and or algebraic expressions. So nice job. But again, if you have something pretty close to these two answers, well, let's go ahead and see if we can't uh, kind of clear things up for you so you don't get confused on these because what we're talking about, this translating stuff, has to do to the, uh, it's really at the essence of math word problems, right? So most people, not, not most people, but a lot of students hate math word problems. They have such a bad reputation. They're like, I don't mind doing some math problems, but I really hate math word problems. They just don't want to deal with words. Now, why? Okay, because you have to interpret that word problem and you got to translate all that stuff into a mathematical expression, you know, an equivalent problem that involves variables, equ equations, inequalities, whatever you might have, and then you have to solve that problem. So it's that translating part of doing the problem that often confuses students, but it's a critical part if you want to be successful, especially in math courses like algebra. So let's go ahead and get into this problem right now. So here we go. We have six decrease by the difference of S and T. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we have some sense of what these words uh, mean. Decreased, right? So we, well, let's just kind of back up here. Six, we all know what six is. That's a number. But we have to understand what decreased is, and we have to understand what the difference is. So the best way to do this is just kind of use some simple examples that involve these two words first, and then we'll kind of combine uh, everything that's going on here. So let's focus in on decreased here, and uh, we'll use six as our number just to kind of make sure we understand what decreased is. So let's put a six here. So that's what six is. So let's uh, substitute something else after decrease. And so in other words, we have six decreased by the difference of, oh, forget all that for a second. Let's just do something simple like six decreased by two. 
Okay, so what does that mean? Six decreased by two. Well, if I have six, what we want to do is reduce it down by two. Well, how can I use a mathematical operation to show that? Well, what we want to do is subtract two away from six. So this is six decreased by two, right? So let's say I had a little block here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not perfect. But here is six, right? So if I decrease it by two, so we'll take away two here, how much is left? Well, four is one, two, three, four, okay? So whatever model you need to understand or use to understand the word decreased, uh, you know, take the time to base, so, okay, this is what that means. We're gonna subtract away from six, whatever we're decreasing by. Okay, so hopefully no problem with the word decreased. Now let's go ahead and talk about the difference. Okay, now this is a typical um, place where uh, students get confused. So the difference of S and T, uh, that's a very specific thing. It's S minus T, okay? S minus T is the difference of S and T. It's gonna be S first, and then our subtraction, and then T, not T minus S. This is in the difference of S and T. This is the difference of T and S, okay? So again, S minus T. All right, so here we have the difference of S minus T, and we want to take six and decrease it by the difference of S minus T. So it would make kind of sense, right? We could say, okay, we have six, and we're gonna decrease it by S minus T, like so. Uh, so this right here should be you know, correct, right? You might be saying, this, this seems like you know, this is pretty good. This is the difference of S and T. And here is six, and we're decreasing it by the difference of S and T. But there's a little detail here that confuses a lot of students, okay? And that is grouping symbols, okay? We have to be very explicit that the difference of S and T, we got to put this in parentheses, okay? So this is a six, okay? This is six decreased by the specific difference of S and T, Okay, so this is S minus T. If you go like this, six minus S minus T, this is not right. This is six decreased by S, then decreased by T. That's, that's a different expression, okay? So here, if you look at six minus uh, S minus T, if I use the distributive property, I can take this negative sign and I can multiply it in so this would be at, uh, six minus S plus T, okay? You can see this is obviously different than this. So anytime you have the word difference, okay? Or sum is another word, the sum, but especially it really, really makes a, uh, a, a difference in the word difference. I didn't make that up. I just kind of happened to be, uh, it's a coincidence that I'm using the word difference um, two times to make a point. Okay, when you have, it really does make a difference, okay? When you see the word difference, you've got to have parentheses around that group, okay? Because you will, uh, you know, tend to make this error right here. So if you made this error, uh, don't feel bad. You're pretty close, but that's probably, you know, outside of the obvious point of this video is that you have to know how to translate uh, verbal phrases into variable phrases but what gets a lot of students is when they deal with their when they're dealing with the difference and the sum okay do not forget to use those grouping symbols okay so if you're still kind of like mm, unsure about your ability to translate verbal phrases into algebraic or variable phrases a couple suggestions here one check out like my pre-algebra or algebra courses at my um uh, math help site tcmathacademy.com. I have my full instruction. My kind of my best work is there, but also I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel as well. But if this little video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.